Hey, what's going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. Today, we're gonna do a really fun experiment. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison, an A-B test, if you will, of the top loader Fender Tele Bridge versus a string through. We're gonna do it on the same guitar with the same bridge, and all we're gonna do is change the way it's strung. Nothing else. Before we do that, though, We'll get to that in a minute. We're not going to use this guitar. So this is one of those newer kind of deluxe Telecasters with the Tim Shaw Shaw Buckers in it. And a customer, he actually bought the guitar, had it shipped here, and he said, I want a single coil in the neck. Instead of cut his guitar all up, what we did was take one of our flat six Tele pickups and put it inside here. Um, the other coil is still living in there. It's not doing anything. It's not hooked up. It doesn't have any factor on the tone at all. It's just sitting in there for looks. I thought this would be kind of cool because not only is it reversible, but it also retains basically the factory look of the guitar. And this is what it sounds like. So what we're going to do is I've got this telly and I've got this bridge tray, tray that is going to be able to be used either string through here or top loader. So we're going to swap it out. We're going to put it on this guitar. Um, I'm going to use everything exactly the same saddles, um, everything. We're just going to swap out the tray um, and then we're going to put two sets of strings on. I've got a bunch of strings, same strings same everything and the only thing we're going to change is how it's strung so um, through the body like normal and then top loader uh, so let me get this swapped out and then we'll do it and we're going to do this blind and you're going to comment which one you think is which just like we did the last time with the saddle shootout all right so i've got the other bridge on the guitar and I'm not gonna show you what's here because you'll know. So we're gonna do this blind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some stuff. Uh, then we're going to probably switch back and forth in the edit, like setup A, setup B, something like that. And then um, play a few different ways, open strings, notes, whatever. Um, I'm going to use the same profile I always use, which is a 65 Blackface Super Reverb profile in the Kemper um, with a little bit of Tube Screamer on it. And all, for all of you who scream through the internet that says, oh, we got to have some super clean, blah, blah, blah. Nobody plays like that anyway. I'm going to play this like I always play it. I'm going to play it like you would play it. And you're going to just have to be able to tell the difference. And if you can't, oh, well, I don't know. So here we go. Uh, this is the sound test. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, well, there it is. Uh, A test, B test. I haven't even edited it yet, so I don't even know. I haven't even listened to it. I don't even know what the difference is. Uh, we used the same strings. Well, I had to change strings. Um, we used just the regular Ernie Ball 10s that I always use. We used the same profile that I always use, settings that I always used. Um, volume and tone on 10 the whole time. Neck pickup, bridge pickup. You heard it. Um, so get in the comments and tell me which one you think is the string through and which one you think is the top loader. And then probably in our live show later this week, we will give the results. I'm not gonna do it in this video because I have had very good experience doing a video this way and making people, well, if I put the results in the video, then they're gonna watch it. They're gonna watch the results and just say in the comments, yeah, that's what I thought. But if I make you actually genuinely try to figure it out, uh, it works better. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is kind of fun. And uh, we will see you on Thursday. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, like the video. Share it with other people, especially tell the people, because this is kind of fun. Uh, make sure you comment too, because uh, if you comment on this video, you're gonna enter to win uh, that guitar maintenance kit thing that we've been talking about. So make sure you do that. Um, check out our other blog uh, at Music and Mascara because we got a new video about earbuds and stuff, not guitar related, so that's why I put it over on the other channel. So you can check that out. And uh, that's it. Check out Patreon because we're doing some really cool stuff there. Um, that's what I'm using to kind of like fund these little experiments. And I want to buy some pickups that we can do some experiments with. I want to do some active stuff. So if you go over there to Patreon, uh, the other thing cool about Patreon is if you ask a question on the Patreon thing, then I make sure that I feature it in the live FAQs on Thursdays, even if you can't make it. So that's really kind of cool too. Uh, thanks for hanging out and we'll talk to you soon.